What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we're going to be talking about the types of love that a narcissist will give. What well, admittedly, narcissists can't love. In the video, you, you'd be surprised about the answers. My name, if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to episode 999 of the Narcissist Code. Boom, 999 episodes, y'all. Can y'all believe it? Almost they, Tomorrow will be episode 1000. What the heck? February 6th, like I, I gotta get my teeth cleaned tomorrow. So teeth cleaning at episode 1000, wow. Um, But yes, 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 y'all. The types of love that a narcissistic person will give to you. And like I said, I know in the beginning, in a little teaser, I said, well, Lee, Narcissists can't love, so end the video right there. Thank you. This should be a seven second video. Narcissists cannot love you at all. I'm Lee Hemick. Goodbye. No, so for me, y'all know I'm a clinically diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, and I, I can love people. And I believe that a lot of narcissists have the ability to love people, but it's very limited, y'all. It might not be the amount of love or the type of love that you might require or the type of love that you might want throughout your life, not the type of love did you predict it? Because narcissistic people show love in a few different ways. How do they show love? How do they demonstrate love? What are the types of love? So the first type of love that narcissistic people love, quote unquote love, the first type of love that they will demonstrate to you is physical. Physical, physicality. Show you love through physical acts. Physical, physicalness, the body, gifts, Things like that, their presence, narcissistic people think that their presence should be enough to show you that they love you. Hey, I'm here with you, Art Nah. Hey, I'm around you, Art Nah. Hey, I love you. Can't you tell I love you? I'm still here. I haven't left you. We're still married, aren't we? We, we built the family together, aren't we? I can have other people, but I chose you. So they should show you that I love you. You know, I don't need to say it all the time. I can show you by being here. I show you I love you by being here with you. Because love is showing up. And I show up every day when I get off of work. <laughs> or every day when I clock out and come home. You know, or every day when you get off of work. Or when you come home. You know, whatever, the, whatever the family dynamics are. I show you love by being here is the mindset of a lot of narcissists and toxic people, y'all. Because I'm here, I should show you. And they don't, like I said, very rarely do they demonstrate emotional love. In the beginning, it seems like a lot of emotional love is being like distributed towards you. But you come to know that that's not always the case, right? You come to know that that's not always the truth when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, that it's not always gonna be a demonstration the way that you think it's gonna be, you know? It's not always going to be, the uh, like, they're going to demonstrate it by giving you the physical. Telling you I love you and showing you I love you are not the same thing, y'all. Let's keep it real. Telling you that I love you and, and showing you that I love you are nowhere near the same damn thing. But so many people conflate the two like they are very similar, they, they, like they are together. No, they, no, no, nope, 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 they're not. But this is where a lot of people get confused. We deal with narcissistic people. They will show you love through giving you gifts. <sighs> hey, I know I did something horrible to you, but here's, here's my apology and here's to show you that I love you. Here's a gift. Here's a trip. Here's a necklace. Here's a bowling ball. Here's a baseball glove. Here's a, you know, here's something physical that you can hold, that you can see. Because narcissistic people think this how you show love is giving you physical things. Hey, here's my body. I'm going to give you my body to show you that I love you. You know, could they be part of love and intimacy? Yeah, but it's only body. It's only physicality. There's no intimacy. It's just clapping cheeks. You know, it's just, you know, primal. <laughs> you know, it's just primal love. You know, we're just loving each other through our bodies slapping together. You know what I mean? But that's the mindset right there. You see, that's the, the, the inner workings of a narcissist's mind is to show you right there. You get it right there, right? You, you feel it. You feel that dynamic. You understand it right there when I say it like that. They will give you things. Here's a, here, hey, I know I cheated on you. And to show you how much I love you, I'm going to physically give you a bracelet. You know, here's a Louis Vuitton wallet. Here's something, y'all. Here's a purse. Here's something to show you that I love you. Can that be an act of affection? Yes, 
Yeah, but if that's all they do, then that's really all they think they are required to do. You know, because if it works one time, or if it works several times, then they're going to keep doing it, right? How can I show you that I love you? How can I prove to you that I love you? No, I'm not going to block my ex. What I'm actually going to do, my ex that I keep talking to and friends with and go hanging out one on one and turning my phone off with. No, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to cut them off because that would be showing you too much love. What I'm going to do is take you shopping. What I want to do is cook for you. You see what I'm saying? A physical act. Not what you really wanted them to do. Or sometimes it is, sometimes it is what you wanted them to do, like a trip or something like that. But you don't really get what you want out of it. There's no emotional connection behind it. And you can tell if you're dealing with a narcissist, you can tell that there's no emotional connection behind them giving you something after they've hurt you. This is just like, hey, look, I showed you I love you. Hey, I did this, didn't you? you are you not happy? Are you not grateful? Wow, are you ungrateful? Wow, you can't really show love to people these days. People these days, wow, modern women, modern men, wow, just so ungr ungrateful. Physical. Physicality. They think that they are showing you love by giving you physical things. This, this is how they demonstrate love to you, through physical acts. Physical. No emotional or very, very little emotional behind it, but it's physical, the physical stuff, the physicality behind it. You know what I mean? But that's the dynamics that so many people run into when you're dealing with a narcissist or toxic person. It's the physical things that keep you there, the physical stuff that keeps you there and whatnot. So that's one way. The other way that narcissistic people will, you know, show you love or show you how they love you or whatever, connect to you, is conditional. The other type of love, the type of love. I got this talking, I forgot what I said at the beginning. Another type of love, conditional love. A narcissist's love, a lot of narcissists' love comes with strings attached. It's like, it's negotiating with love, negotiating with affection. Your love is based on condition. If you don't meet the, and you know, the terms and conditions of a narcissist's love are always changing. If you don't meet these conditions of this love, then I'm going to take it away from you. You see, if you don't meet these conditions that I set forth, then the love will be removed from you and held over your head until further notice. I'm going to weaponize this love against you. It's conditional. Y'all, it comes with strings attached. If you don't do this, if you don't do, if you don't give into my demands, then I'm going to take the love away. Believe this sounds, this sounds like normal love because if you don't meet the needs of the person, then you take the, you're supposed to take the love away. Y'all, intent matters. If I'm trying to manipulate you with this stuff, that's different than me trying to just show love and care and affection. You know, that's different than me just trying to hold you, set a boundary. Manipulation and boundaries are not the same thing. If I'm trying to manipulate, hey, I'm going to take the love away. If you keep bringing up my ex or my past or the things I've done in the past, I'm going to take the love away from you. That's manipulation. That's trying to get out of something. That's trying to avoid accountability. The intent behind the actions matters, y'all. Because so much of the stuff that I say on this channel can be, if you think about it too hard, you can put yourself in those shoes and make, make, you, make you think that you are the narcissist or toxic person. Intent matters. What is your intent on doing this right here? Because narcissistic people, when they threaten to remove the love from you, is to manipulate you in a certain way to get you to fall in line. If you are threatening to leave them, you are trying to get them to, to act right and treat you right, give you meet the, meet the bare minimum standards of a relationship. They're trying to manipulate you to take what they put out, take what they give. You are trying to get love in an equal, you know, you're trying to get reciprocity in a relationship. You're trying to get out what you put in. Intent matters. Love, narcissist love comes with strings attached. Hey, I'm going to show you that I love you as long as you don't bring up my past, as long as you don't bring up the fact that I cheated on you, as long as you don't tell your friends and family that I did what I did to you. I'm going to show you love and I'm going to show the kids love. You know, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show the kids love as long as I'm able to be in your life as well. As long as I have some type of access to you, I will be in the kids' lives. You see how conditional that is right there. You see the string attached right there. As long as I'm able to talk to you or touch you or be around you, then yes, I'm going to show the kids a lot of love. But if I can't be around them, if I can't do what I want to do, then I'm going to take the love away from them as well. You know, 
if you don't, I'm going to abandon you, abandon the kids. I'm going to quit the business if I can't see you. I'm going to let the house go into bankruptcy if I can't see you. I'm going to let the cars get repossessed if I can't see you. You see, if I can't have access to you, you see the conditional, the strings attached right there. I will give as long as I get. Though it's not, it's not equal. It's not equal in these relationship dynamics. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing I try to convey to people. That it's not equal. But people, like I said, people push back on it. People push back on me when I say this type of stuff right here. But it is absolutely not an equal dynamic. It's not an equal shift in these relationship spaces. You don't like, and I, I hate to say this, but if you're dealing with a toxic, narcissistic person, then you don't get out of the relationship what you put into it. You don't. You, you, you don't. You waste a lot of time, effort, and energy trying to, you know, get out, get something out of them. To get to get the love out of this relationship. To squeeze the love out of this relationship. To squeeze the love out of this relationship dynamic. You know, narcissistic people, y'all. It, it, yeah, let, let, I'll, I'll end it with this right here, y'all. This little, this little um, short monologue right here. Is that, is it true that some narcissistic people don't love you? Yes, that is absolutely true because love is an action word. Love is a verb, y'all. Love requires actions to show you that they love you, but it also has to be some a level of intimacy behind it. I have to prove that I love you by being there for you, emo not only physically but also emotionally as well. You know, that's the space that it falls into right there. Not only physically but emotionally as well. Give me the physical stuff, but like, yeah, I need some emotional connection behind it. We can clap cheeks or whatever, but. What else is there to this relationship? Because some narcissists don't love. Let's be real, y'all. Some narcissists don't love. They can't love. Some narcissists cannot love their kids. But I'll, I'll say this right here. If you don't feel loved by a narcissist and you don't have kids with them, don't have kids with them because that lack of love will spread. It's like bringing, willfully bringing kids into a toxic ass environment. Y'all don't do that. You know what I mean? I know it's out of some people's control, but... You know now. Wake up. Kids don't change narcissists. Kids make kids give narcissists more leverage and more power. Um, anyway, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Mental illness is up. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star, and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos on my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids, but remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.